Hi, boys and girls. Go ahead and turn to page 200 in your Journeys Reader's Notebook. This is Grade 1, Volume 2. So meet you there. Well, boys and girls, we already had our phonics lesson yesterday about the suffixes li, e, and full. And the reason why we're having a phonics lesson um, is because they're in our spelling words. Look at these. We've got li, li, e, e, and full. The rest of these are base words. So we have sad, sadly, slow, slowly, dust, dusty, trick, tricky, help, helpful. So here the words are again. We're going to sort them into words that have suffixes ly, suffix e, and suffix full. So li, e, and full. And then these down here are going to be our base words. So we'll sort these cards out first, and then we'll write them down. So help, hmm, that doesn't have any of these suffixes. It's a base word. I'll put it down here. Oh, slowly has Lee. Let's put it over here. Sad, it doesn't have Lee, E, or full, so I'll put it down here with the base words. And then helpful, full is a base word. I'll put it right here. Dust, it does not have a li, a e, or a full at the end of it. It's just a base word. And then dust e, it has an e, so we'll put it over here next to the e suffix. Sadly, has an L-Y, that's a suffix. Trick E, it ends with a Y suffix. A suffix is a little word part you put at the back of a word, do you remember from yesterday? This is slow, that's a base word, doesn't have a suffix. And then finally we have the word trick. So I don't have any more room, I'll just put it right here. We'll remember to write it. Okay, now let's go ahead and write sadly and slowly, the ones that end with li, the li su suffix right here. Sad, that's our base word. Sad, and then li. Done. Slowly, let's go ahead and write that down. S slow, that's our base word. And then we have an ly as our suffix. Slowly. Done. Okay, now we're going to do our words that end with the E suffix, trick E. Let's write our base word, trick, t, er, e. And then two letters, C and K, make the k sound, trick, E. We use a Y, tricky. Then we have dusty, d, a, S-t, dust, e, dusty. So we're done with tricky and dusty. Okay, next R is the word. There's just one word that has the suffix full, and it says helpful. So we're going to first write help. That's our base word, help, p, help. And now we're going to write our suffix. Full, F-U-L, spells full, helpful, done. Now we just have to write our base words. Let me put this one back over here. We'll write trick first. T, er, e. Which two letters make the k sound again in trick? C-K. So in trick and tricky, we're going to use a C-K to spell the k sound. Trick, E. Oh, oh we don't, we're not going to write the E. That was the other word. That was this one. This is just the base word part. Done. Dust. If I move this up, then we can see these better. Okay, so dust. We'll write that over here. 
doesn't matter where you write these. They just want to, us to write all of the base words. Help. Help. Base words don't have suffixes on them, and they don't have prefixes. Prefixes are word parts that go at the beginning. Okay, so we're done with help. How about slow? Just write that one down. Slow. Oh. Slow. Didn't we do the words, the spelling word slow, like in lesson 27, when we were doing slow, slower, slowest? I think so. So you should know how to spell slow for this spelling test. And then finally, sad. 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 Okay, so we're done with our spelling part. That was page 200. Let's go to page 201 now. Shall we? We're talking about adverbs. Adverbs for how and where. Mrs. Gillum, what's an adverb? Okay, well, we've talked about adjectives, how they describe nouns. They describe persons, places, animals, things. Well, adverbs are words that describe a verb. So they describe an action word, a verb. And they can tell how, where, when, or how much. So today, I think we'll just... For this page, I think they're just going to concentrate on how and where, maybe how much. We'll see. Okay, so we'll see what this is about. I'm just going to show you some kittens, not kittens, show you some um, sentences that have adverbs in them. Very is an adverb because it tells how much or how. That kitten is very cute. It tells how cute. Very cute. Okay, so I'm going to underline very. Oops, this is a dry erase marker. It doesn't work well on that. I'll use this marker next time. Okay. So very was the adverb. The car followed him closely. So how did it follow him? Closely. It sh tells you how. It followed him. Closely is the adverb. Sometimes adverbs have the suffix li at the end. Okay, right here it says, we played outside. Outside tells where they played. Played is the verb, and outside tells where they played. Where, okay? So, they played outside. Outside is the adverb. You're adding on to the verb. You're telling more about the verb. Played outside. Okay, here's another example of an adverb. Sam ran upstairs to his room. Upstairs is the adverb. It's describing where he ran. He, where, he ran upstairs. Describes where he ran. Okay, I think we are getting the idea of this. My sister is over there. So the is is the verb, and this tells more about where she is. She's over there. Over there is the adverb. It's telling where. Okay, boys and girls, let's go ahead and practice on our page 201. Okay. Circle the adverb in each sentence and write it on the line. The man went upstairs. Upstairs. We just actually use that in our sentence. Do you remember that? Just as an, it said Sam ran upstairs right there. They happen to use it right here. So let's go ahead and write it on the line. Upstairs tells where he ran. Upstairs. 
Okay. The dog followed him closely. It's telling how he followed him. Closely is um, describing this verb, followed. So let's go ahead and write down the word closely. Very, very often, words that end with L-Y are adverbs. Just a little tip. Buzz is here. Okay, so where is he? Where is he? Here. So let's circle here. It's telling more or describing the verb is. It's telling where is is. <laughs> okay, here. He watched the fly carefully. How did he watch the fly? How did he watch the fly? Carefully. And again, it ends with an L-Y. Let's go ahead and circle it. It tells more about that verb watched. Watched carefully. Let's write down that adverb carefully. Careful. Oh, that's a super big suffix. Lee. It, it had like two suffixes, full and Lee, carefully. And it's an adverb. It's telling how he watched carefully. Okay, we're going to complete each sentence and write an adverb that tells how or where. Oh, so we get to do this. The leaf floated mm -hmm, down the stream. Do you want to say quickly down the stream, gently down the stream? We'll say quickly. It floated quickly. That's telling how it floated quickly. Quick. Lee. In a way that was quick. The leaf floated how? Quickly down the stream. And down the stream would have also been an adverb. Jose stores his new boat. Mm hmm. Okay. Do you want to say where he stores it? Where do you store a new boat? Some people put them in a garage. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's tell where. In the garage. Okay, so we tell more about where he stores it in the, in the garage. We told where. It's an adverb, in the garage. Okay, so you can go ahead and pause it on this page if you need to catch up. I think we did a good job with our introduction to adverbs. Okay, let's turn the page. We are doing 202, and the name of this lesson is Giving Examples. So it says to look at the picture of the judges on page 139 of your book. So they must be talking about our textbook. So let me get that. Okay, well, I'll have it right here. Let's see what the rest of the instructions say. It says, Write your opinion about how the judges are feeling about their decision. Okay, so let's look at this. Let me move this a bit over here so we can see this. So here's 139. Maybe I put this here and I'll put this here. Um, okay, so I think the judges are feeling... Remember in this, what happened here? It says, the fly knows his jar. Well, you can't see that part. The fly knows his jar, the judges said. This fly is a pet. This fly is a pet. And they let Fly Guy in the show. So look at them. So they're feeling amazed. They're feeling surprised. Okay, so which one do you want to say? Let's just say amazed. They're feeling amazed. We could have said surprised too. 
but let's do amazed because he did some incredible things. So write one reason to explain your opinion. Why do you think that the judges are feeling amazed? How did Fly Guy amaze them? Um, well, they let him in the show. Well, they let him in the show because he knew Buzz's name. He knew his jar. What else? He was doing fancy loop-de-loops. So, well, I think those are the two reasons. But it says one reason is one. Oh, they let him in the show. I think the judges are feeling amazed. What, right? One reason to explain your opinion. One reason is they let him in the show. Write two examples to explain your reason. Your reason for thinking he's amazed? Well, I know the two examples. Let's go there. The judges are feeling amazed. Okay, one reason is, well, just look at the picture. They are all, they look amazed. <laughs> Let's just do that. They look. I'll put surprised because that's not the exact word is amazed. Okay. I think the judges are feeling amazed. So we're using evidence from our textbook and I see this picture. And one reason I think they're feeling amazed is because they look surprised. Surprise and amazed are sort of the same. Write two examples to explain your reason. So the reason they look surprised is Fly Guy knew Buzz's name. Knew Buzz's like, how many flies do you know that can say your name? What's another example? They look so surprised and they're feeling so amazed. Fly Guy knew his jar. Remember, he went straight up into the atmosphere, far away from the um, earth, and he came right down into, oops, into his jar. And they even said, the fly knows his jar. That shows how smart he is. He knew his jar. Okay, so we gave some examples of why the judges were feeling amazed. You know, they look surprised. And they also said, fly, um, the fly knows his name. So Fly Guy knew Buzz's name. And they also said, the fly knows his jar. So we wrote, he knew his jar. OK, I think that's how, we, they, how they want us to do this page. OK, boys and girls, I hope you learned something today. Bye-bye.